Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing here today? This is Love and Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're doing a spotlight slash tutorial on a mod called Immersive Cooking. Now this mod is an add-on for Farmer's Delight, so you do have to have that. Of course, I will have the links to both of those down below like always. But this is a really cute addition to Farmer's Delight. Again, it is called Immersive Cooking. And I can see why, because the, one of the big things is it adds, these are the Farmer's Delight's pantries, right? It takes the pantries and adds these cool countertops. So you can have matching pantries and countertops. And it's so freaking adorable of course in all the different wood types but you also have your type of top of counter that you want so this one is the stone counter this one is the granite counter then we have the black stone counters the andesite counters and the diorite counters think about building a beautiful kitchen with this and not only that then they also add a stove hood that is just adorable. It makes the perfect addition to create your perfect little kitchen in Minecraft. All right, um, but it also adds some other foods and a couple recipes. And so we're gonna take a look at that along with um, all the different recipes. Now the countertops can also be used by themselves like I did here. Isn't that cool? It kind of looks to me like a pot rack or a shelf or something. I really like the way that you can do that. Now, these only do on the top block. You cannot set them. Like, I really wish I could set it to the bottom one here. So it looks like it's the stove hood is sitting right below it. But that part isn't possible. But you could take one of the counters and have it coming off that to complete your kitchen kitchen look also this block right here is glazed tiles it is also added uh, by this mod which i is why i used it all over the place i think it's fantastic it does only come in the one color so i kind of wish it would come in a little bit more colors but it is great all right so let's take a look at some recipes to make eight of those glazed tiles you're going to need eight terracotta surrounded by a honeycomb to make the stove foot hood fan, it's three iron ingots, iron bar, and a glowstone dust. Now the countertops, I'm doing these recipes, but um, you mix and match the way you want them. So for the stone countertops, first you might need to know how to make them, huh? Which is why all these stone cutters are here. There's two different ways to make each one. Um, for the stone one, which is what I used in that recipe there. For the stone one, you're gonna use smooth stone or smooth stone slab. So if we take that into the stone cutter, which is also where you can make the smooth stone slab, but that is where you make the countertops. So it is smooth stone for the stone one, for the polished, uh, for the black stone one, it's polished black stone. And again, you just put it in the stone cutter. And there you go right here. You have the option of the countertop. And then it's the polished versions of each of these. So polished andesite, polished diorite, and polished granite. You get what I mean. Each one, you put them in here and you have the option for the countertops. So that's how you get each of those. All right, so you're gonna take whichever one and then the Farmer's Delight, I will put a link because I have the uh, tutorial there and it's has the recipes for all the pantries but basically what you're going to do is take whatever type of pantry you want and put the type of countertop you want and it forms them together to create one piece so then with the oak and the blackstone granite uh, count, uh andesite and diorite so it makes all the different versions. Again, I just used oak as an example, but that's why I also laid them out here so you can see all the different varieties that you can actually make. That's awesome. All right, so it does actually add 
a little bit more foods also. So with Farmer's Delight, you have the cutting board and the knives. So taking that to a potato will give you potato slices. It actually gives you six for each one that you slice up. Then if you take potato slices and you cut that, it gives you potato cubes. Also, when you are killing spiders, you can get these raw spider shanks. So with these, when you cut them up, it gives you raw spider cutlets and bone. And then the Farmer's Delight onion, if you cut that, it gives you diced onions. Now, there's a couple different recipes for these. So for the raw spider shank, you could cook it as is, it gives you smoked spider shank. And then for the cutlet, you can also cook that and get cooked spider cutlet. Now, the only really big recipe this one has is this uh, uh, panna. Yeah, anyway. Um, it does have to be served on a bowl. So as you can see, it has 64 of these made. But until I take it out, it won't do anything. Um, these recipes are actually a little bit interchangeable. So the meats that you can use are different. Of course, you can use the regular beef or the minced, which again, that's in the Farmer's Delight tutorial, or raw po pork chop or the raw bacon. Each recipe does make two, so it makes it really nice. All right, and why is that not cooking now? There we go. Just had to reset it for a second. But it will continue making again. Each recipe does make two. And then over here, you can also cook the potatoes. These you simply put on here, or you could also probably put them on a campfire. And it just makes these cooked fried potato slices. Now, the potato cubes are supposed to have a fried potato cube recipe. But I've tried it in the cooking pot, I've tried putting it on the stove, I've tried the furnace and the smoker, and I and it says to do it on a um, campfire, but it doesn't even click on the campfire. So I think they have a bug currently with the fried potatoes, but it is supposed to be where you can put it like on the campfire or the stove and just cook them that way. So if it is working, uh, you might want to try that too. But there you go. It's a nice little add-on again. Um, I will have links to everything down below, including the Farmer's Delight Mod Spotlight and tutorial if you missed that one, because that covers all the Farmer's Delight stuff in here um, that I don't have the recipes for on here. But this is a great add-on to that. I love it. I think it's so immersive, and the name truly is a perfect name for this mod, Immersive Cooking. All right. Leave any questions or comments down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you can see when all the new videos come out. And thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate all of you being here. Till next time, this love attemptress, don't get burned. Bye!